Hi everybody, welcome to the first ever edition of Off Grid Homestead Cooking with Troy. I'm Troy and uh, gonna cook some breakfast. A lot of people have been wanting to see some cooking videos from me, so uh, here's the first. And today what we're gonna have is a fresh Off Grid Homestead omelette. We'll put some oil in the pan here first of all and get this heated up. So I'm cooking with gas here by the way, which I happen to prefer. So we're going to heat this up and we'll come back here in a minute. Now I'm going to prepare some things on the side as that heats up. Alright, I've got a few things here I've got to prepare. The, uh, it's been a couple minutes, the stove is getting pretty hot. I'm going to turn that down. So I'm going to have a cheese and broccoli omelette with onions. I'd be having garlic, but with cats in the house, I can't seem to figure out where exactly the garlic went to. So that'll have to pass. So I'm just going to cut some pieces of broccoli off and prepare it. Because once stuff starts cooking, it's going to go pretty fast. I'm going to chop this up to a finer uh, size in a couple minutes here. That's probably a good share of broccoli for the omelette. And then I'll uh, prep an onion. That's a small onion. I don't want too much. These are I find these are perfect for a single person here at, at the homestead. The single serving onion, single portion, whatever you want to call it, it's uh, it's perfect. All right, I've got some eggs, fresh, off grid eggs. Pull them out this morning. So I uh, I try to minimize mess, so I put my garbage bag right directly below my frying pan, and then crack that egg into the pan. Drop the shell straight into the garbage pan below. No mess. I'm not sure if I'm going to use four or five eggs. We're going to see here in a minute how it looks. I know most people pre-mix uh, their eggs in a bowl and stir it up and mix it nicely, but I do it in the pan. I'm going to go with five eggs. I'm hungry. I just uh, mix that right up in a pan. Now paper towel gets used for fire start material later. And what I do is just pop these yolks up nice. You got plenty of time to get that in there. Okay. And then I, I leave my I work I try to work neat. So I set this hanging over the edge of the sink. So if anything drips off the spatula it goes into the sink and I don't have to worry about that later. Alright, turn this back up a little bit. And now I'm gonna chop up my my broccoli and get it ready. I want nice sized chunks. Not like the Chinese style menus where you can't really hardly uh, get that in your mouth. I want nice little bite sized chunks of broccoli on my omelette. So I got the egg over here cooking. Now I like cast iron because it is the ultimate and original no stick pan. I really like it. That's a lot. This is, might be a little too much. I'll see as I go. Now that I've cut it up, I'll use the rest in a stir fry tonight later. I like to chop my onions up really fine so I, I cut it in half and cut it in half again. I like these baby onions. 
I'm not exactly sure what the proper term is. A lot of you are probably freaking out at me using wrong terms. I am not a chef. I'm just showing you my cooking because so many people want to see me cooking in a tiny house in the off-grid homestead. So here we are. Cooking video number one. I'll do a, uh, I'll have a playlist for that in the future and we'll hook it up and let you guys watch. So I'm going to chump off a chunk of sharp cheddar cheese and we'll cut that up nice and fine. Meanwhile the egg is turning out nicely over here on the side. I didn't think this was going to be a live cooking video but it looks like it's going to be. Cooking eggs does not take long at all. Okay, now I use that paper towel to wipe everything in between. I don't have a lot of running water because I am off the grid. Now I'm going to attempt to flip this. Let's see. Maybe not. Yeah, I think I'll make a mess of it if I try. I need a wider spatula. I don't think that's going to happen. I think I'm just going to have to cook it through. All right, I'm going to drop in my ingredients, and then we'll flip it over on top of itself. Nice mixture there. Whatever I don't use goes into the stir fry tonight for dinner. I do want to use that whole onion, though. Oh yeah, that's going to work out nicely. Let me show you the the omelet here itself. Well, that's going to be a thick omelet, but I'm hungry. I'm really hungry. You know what? I think I'm going to put all that in there. Nice, tasty omelet. And then I'll probably flip it over and cover it. Nice and heavy, thick and tasty omelet. Flip that over. Now there you see cast iron, the ultimate, ultimate no stick. I love my cast iron. Look at that. Let me get that cheese up in there. Cheese will stick a little bit. Cheese is a little bit harder to work with. All right, now to retain the heat in there a little bit, I'm going to put a uh, lid on there and let it cook for a minute. So we'll be back in a minute. We want to, we want to steam that broccoli through is what we want to do next. All right, let's turn off the stove and let's check out our omelet here. Oh yeah, look at that. See the broccoli steamed out, steamed up nicely. The egg is cooked. The cheese is melted in. Look at that. That looks nice, huh? All right, time to serve it up and uh, try it out. Look at that. That's a nice sized omelet. Fresh, fresh from the homestead. The eggs. Nice and fresh. It doesn't get better than that. Let me find a fork and be right back. All right, we'll put a little bit of salt on there for flavor. And for pepper, I prefer chili pepper. Nice dab on there. Good stuff. I'm not sure how hot that is. You can see I just opened that. But hey, we'll find out here in a minute. I like my chili. That's organic chili. Nice. Well, let's see. Healthy homestead omelet. Mmm. Perfect. Well guys, that's it for the first off-grid homestead cooking video. I hope you did enjoy. I'm going to enjoy my uh, fresh homestead omelet now. I'm going to make a new playlist for the homestead cooking and I'll copy it over into the normal daily videos so you can find it. 
and I'll let you know. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'm going to enjoy my omelet. Talk to you later.